بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Things are known by their opposites And from the signs of the end of times Like when you read the narrations of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you hear these signs of the end of times, right? And in these signs of the end of times, often is that at the end of times, things will be, right, opposite of what we find it normally to be. So don't be fooled. Just because a person looks like they live a good life doesn't mean that they'll die a good death. And just because a person lives a quote unquote bad life, it doesn't mean that they're gonna die a bad death. Because Allah Ta'ala can do what He wills. And one of the biggest lessons in this is that the doors of heaven, the doors of Jannah, right, is that they're covered, covered with struggle. And the doors of Jahannam, the doors of the hellfire, are covered with desires, right? So in reality, very, very difficult to get to Jannah. Very, very difficult to get to Jannah. You have to go through all these things, but once you get to Jannah, it's eternal bliss. And then on the opposite side, it's so easy to go to hell. Everything you love, everything you want, everything that you'll disobey Allah for is right there in front of you. But behind that door is eternal punishment. So just because a thing makes you feel good, it doesn't mean the thing is good. And just because something is hard for you and it's hard for your nafs, it doesn't mean that it's bad for you. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to struggle and to overcome our struggles in our lives and give us the end result of eternal bliss in Jannah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us, help us curve our desires just enough that we don't get punished in the fire. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.